we will start with the welcoming prayer. So, welcome, e como mai, welcome to the welcoming prayer healing circle from Contemplative Outreach Hawaii. We are very grateful that you are here in this place, in this space, in this time. Finding yourself in your body. Take a moment with the breath coming into this place, this space, this time, this welcoming prayer practice. So I'm Pulele Hua, and I've had many opportunities to practice the welcoming prayer um, recently. And one of them for me was, um, it was, I had a real struggle. So I was traveling and doing wonderful things, and I got wounded so that I have to wear a removable boot on one leg. And I'm a dancer and a mover. And I had an opportunity this weekend, this past weekend, to dance at several events, none of which I could do the way I wanted to do them because I had this big black cast kind of thing on my leg. Um, and I was kind of bitter and crying a lot thinking about it, anticipating the weekend of my not being able to do this because it's rare that I get to do this, and I love doing it, and I knew I wasn't going to get to do it, and I was I just, and um, I remembered the welcoming prayer and was able to feel and sink in, and by the time the events happened, I went to these events, and I could dance in my chair. At one event, I actually, I, I purposely dressed so no one could see the cast because, you know, just too much. And I, at one event, I actually stood up because the person I was dancing with wasn't very confident I, I was supposed to dance with. And so I just did it standing as hula. So a lot of it's upper body. And people actually didn't notice that I had the boot on because I danced from my heart and danced anyways. And because I allowed myself to feel frustrated and angry and upset, um, first, then throughout the event where I was not t really happy that I couldn't do these things, I was able, I, it was like I'd practiced already being disappointed <laughs> and feeling it. And so I, it, it was easier to do. And at one of the events, the group was doing these dances and I couldn't, I mean, there's no way they're really professional. They really needed to look just right. And so I couldn't, you know, go and do my, and, um, I was really kind of pissed off that I couldn't go join them at them, that they wouldn't let me, because, and completely ridiculous. But it was this little kid thing in me that said, oh, nobody loves me, everybody hates me, I'm going to go eat worms. Um, and I realized it, after that all went in, I sat down with a friend and I said, well, you know, something about, you know, how I felt. And I recognized, heard myself and recognized it and was able to go, oh, that's where I'm at. So, um, but if without the welcoming prayer practice, so because I had practiced, literally practiced being upset so many times by feeling and sinking into it, that when it actually happened, I was nowhere near as upset because I'd been practicing in anticipation. Sounds a little odd, but somehow it really worked and it meant that I didn't hold it against my friends, my dear friends who you know, they want to, you know what I mean? It's, it was unreasonable on my part to feel like that, but I was able to get over it during the event and able to just go, oh, okay. I, and I'm just, I still feel left out from it. I still feel like, oh, this was so sad. I didn't get to do it, but it's not interfering with the relationships. And to me, that's the important part. I left, I let the divine indwelling in this place, in this space with these people 
And because the divine was with me, I could love them and still be okay with being really upset. And so for me, these practices, that's why these practices are important. Because otherwise, my desire for security, affection, and control, and in this case, affection in particular, although control was really big on there, um, were so strong, out of whack with what they needed to be, that um, it was really great to have this practice. So I'm grateful for this practice and um, and that you, I can share that with you all because who else would, would be proud of me for doing this? But um, I'm sure that you too have. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's so lovely of you. But, you know, I mean, it's, it's hard work that we do being humans. This human thing is not an easy thing. But I'm really grateful to have practices and to have communities like this where we can practice together and we can share moments from our, from our lives. Oh, and you turned your cameras on so I could see you, and I really appreciated that, so thank you. Okay, now I'll lead you into your guided meditation so you can settle in and leave your camera off if you like, but I really appreciate you coming in for me. That was so sweet. Oh, okay, we feel and sink into the body, into this place, into this space, into this time. The welcoming prayer is a practice designed to be done in the moments of ordinary life. Those everyday moments when we are in need of being with the divine indwelling, being able to live with our emotional centers, be able to live with the effective emotions in everyday life, and be able to Keep the divine indwelling in the forefront. The divine indwelling is love. In It's always with you and in you. At least for me. For me, the image I have of that divine indwelling is that spark of miracle, that mystery that's within me that allows me to be loved by me, by the divine. The divine in me to be loved. And so let's notice our bodies. So feel and sink into the body, the warehouse of emotions, the things that have happened to us are here in the body. And when new things happen, we get triggered. And we can tell in our body even what it is, perhaps. That... So let's go to the top of the head and feel any tightness Noticing the head, the crown of the head, down the back of the head. Feeling around the jaw, connecting to the ears. The neck. Allowing yourself to move as you delight or imagine movement, your internal focus connecting in to the head and the neck. Where the neck connects into the shoulders. Bringing the shoulders up and allowing them to relax. many times as you need to be able to feel them connecting the arm the upper arm to the elbow to the lower arm to the wrist the hand the fingers Back to the shoulders and the collarbone, the neck area. Just feeling anything. 
If your attention is particularly taken to one part of your body, go there. As we continue the scan through the torso, to the heart, noticing the rhythm of the heart, the breath, The breath down the back and the rib cage, feeling the breath coming in and out. The na'au, the space between the rib cage and the pico. Coming down to the pelvis area and the area that you sit on. Noticing the chair or whatever surface you're on, perhaps against your back and your head and your seat. Where the hips connect into the torso, where the legs connect into the torso the hip joints. And the knee joints. Calves and the shins. The ankles and the feet. Tops of the feet, bottoms of the feet, the toes, now using your internal focus, scan from your toes all the way through your body and notice where your attention goes. In this warehouse of emotions, experiences, your attention is taken somewhere. It may trigger something. It may bring up a memory. You may have a feeling or sensation. It may be pain and discomfort. It may just be a sensation. A, you don't even know. And we don't need to label whatever this is that draws our attention. We feel and sink into it in this practice, in this moment, welcoming the experience of this moment as it is, as an opportunity to consent to the divine indwelling and welcome, welcome, welcome the divine indwelling presence. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Divine indwelling. The miracle, the mystery, the Christ. Whatever term it is you use for that spark, 
that divine presence, the Holy Spirit, whatever it might be for you, what is the word, the term, your higher power? What is the term, the word? Or maybe there is no label for this divine presence. Welcoming this divine presence that's always within you, embodied in you, the feeling and sensation in your body. It's an opportunity to consent to that divine indwelling. Grounded in that physical experience, remembering the divine within. And the third movement of the prayer is to let go. Let go of the desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment as it is. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I welcome everything that comes to me today because I know it is for my healing. I welcome all thoughts, feelings, emotions, persons, situations, and conditions. I let go of my desire for power and control. I let go of my desire for affection, esteem, approval, and pleasure. I let go of my desire for survival and security. I let go of my desire to change any situation, condition, person, or myself. I open to the love and presence of God and God's action within. I'll take a moment into your welcoming prayer practice. Just take a moment for yourself to experience this prayer before we go into our studies. <laughs> 